Okay, the dry brush technique is good for creating a um, rougher texture. Generally, everything with watercolor is smoother, but if you need a rougher texture, um, you're gonna start with a dry brush. So if your brush is wet, you need to make sure you really, really, really dry it off good. And when you dry your brushes, remember we always pinch and pull them um, to keep them into their nice shape. So I'm gonna start with this dry brush here. And I'm actually gonna paint using the puddle in one of my colors. Now, I'm also then gonna tap some of that off because I don't want it to be wet at all. And then I can use that to sort of sweep. Okay. And again, if I want it to be darker, I can sweep it up a little bit more so that you start to see more of the texture of the actual brush. Um, okay. Now along that seam line, if you needed to get some really dark, thin details, um, you could do something similar to what I just did where I said I was painting with the puddle. So um, if you want something a little bit darker, you could dip your, dip a smaller brush, again, into the puddle. You don't wanna ever scoop away the pigment and you could pull a thin dark line by just tapping into the puddle and using a little brush, okay? So that, not dry brush, but while we're here and thinking about it, that is a um, helpful technique to use. And the last thing we're gonna do is spattering. And I'm gonna do splattering, spattering. I'm gonna do this with um, my little brush and I'm gonna mix a couple of colors up real quick. Got that one, got that one. Okay, and so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the bristles of the brush nice and wet. And you're gonna take it here and you're just gonna tap on it. And it's literally as advertised. Okay, so you can spatter. So anywhere that you need these small marks, you can spatter some paint in. Um, but again, be careful, because sometimes it goes places that you don't want it to. So you wanna make sure that if you don't want it to go somewhere, you put something to cover that area. Um, the more paint you put on there, um, the more it'll go, the harder you tap, the more that comes out. You can also flick it a little bit, um, but that's a technique that you could also utilize if you just needed tiny droplets um, in a more random manner.